Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. Today, working on my 2018 um, 3500 Silverado. I've got issues with my um, washer spray nozzles. They're kind of kind of clogged up. I got a batch of kind of bad washer fluid at one point, and I already tried, you know, blowing them out and everything. But it's just not as good as it could be. So I picked myself up two new nozzles. This is the part number, 231-81646. I just picked them off of eBay. Um, they were five bucks a piece plus shipping. And they're gonna be pretty simple to replace. You don't have to remove anything um, of this um, balance grill guard, whatever it's called here. Uh, two tools you're going to need is a pick or a small screwdriver to get underneath here to lift up uh, the spray nozzle. And then I'm also going to be using a pair of vice grips right here um, to be able to hold on to the hose. As you'll see here in a second, I'm going to go with the uh, pick underneath here and just pry up and do the same from the other side. And then you have a little bit of play to pull up, not, not too much. Um, now the reason why I'm gonna be using these uh, vice grips is I wanna pull up as far as I can and then actually get the vice grips on the hose so that once I pull out um, the old nozzle here, you just simply pull it straight out that this uh, hose doesn't dive down inside this grill valance thingy. I'm sure someone will tell me the right uh, terminology down there. I just don't want to lose it in there because otherwise you do have to end up taking it away. I'm going to go ahead and already prepare the new one here. You can also just get a buddy to help you hold here while you gently pull this guy, wiggle it out, and just get the new nozzle. Start working your way in. There we go. You can see that was really simple. Now it's already in, that's as much as you do. And just push the guy straight back down. Now uh, rinse and repeat for the other side and that's how you change out these probably five cent <laughs> nozzles to be honest which cost us five bucks but um, yeah a simple way to do um, on these uh, Chevys here should work for the half ton three quarter and here one ton the same for the GMC's and just save you guys some money instead of having to bring it to the dealership or another mechanic to do it. I um, hope this video helps you guys out. Um, if it does, please give me uh, a like, maybe a subscribe. We do a lot of kind of videos like this and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.